can walk into the Blue Ridge Cancer Care Center in Blacksburg, Virginia, it is like walking into a festive gathering of old friends. Gotta have my hug. Oh. There are smiles, hugs, and plenty of words of encouragement. People really have the wrong idea about an oncology practice. I mean, it's a place that's about living. But what you don't see is perhaps the most important. Dr. Harry McCoy is saving lives, easing fears, and meeting people where they are, often in their darkest days. Dr. McCoy is the director of the Blue Ridge Cancer Care Center at Lewis Gale Hospital, Montgomery, a state-of-the-art facility he helped bring to the New River Valley. I'm yeah. thankful for you and yeah. the nurses here. Yeah, I don't know what we'd do without them. Yeah. Pretty special ladies. You're yeah. pretty special too. Though the son of an attorney, Dr. McCoy felt drawn to medicine at a very young age. I tried to like law, I tried to like a business, I tried to like a, like a lot of different stuff, and I just kept coming back to know what I want to be as a physician. Because in my heart, I knew I was a caretaker. And when it came time to choose his specialty, the challenging field of oncology was the perfect fit. You don't choose oncology, oncology chooses you. I think there are people who have callings to do things, like ministers have callings to do things. And clearly, Harry has a calling to be a, you know, an outstanding oncologist. It's not easy to do, and it's something that he does very well. To say Dr. McCoy is beloved is an understatement. His patients say Dr. McCoy is a special soul, caring, compassionate, and always willing to go the extra mile for his patients. You were my dad's, and everything came out the way it should have. Yeah, we've went through a lot. Yes, we have. Edward Spencer's wife, Noreen, battled breast cancer for 11 long years. During her struggle, Spencer himself was diagnosed with prostate cancer. He says Dr. McCoy was the calm in the midst of their storm. Bright physician, top-notch oncologist, extraordinary skills true caring about people and with you from beginning to end. Dr. McCoy's bedside manner is somewhat legendary. His close sitting and tender touch often brings comparisons to Dr. Frist Sr. Anyone who has sat down with Harry knows that he's kind of a, a close sitting person. He oftentimes will have a hand on a shoulder and is just very engaging at making uh, the patients feel very comfortable. It is Dr. McCoy's commitment to final stage patient care and end of life issues that drove him to initiate a plan for a nonprofit hospice care center in Blacksburg. The Sojourn Center would be only the fourth hospice care facility in the state of Virginia, and Dr. McCoy says no one needs it more. I can't think of a more perfect place for a center for end of life care. When the family just can't handle everything, where they're so sick they need, just need a little extra hand to, rather the family being the caretakers, but to let them be family again. There comes a point where care at the end of life is more important than trying to keep life going. Though Dr. McCoy balances the heartache of loss and the joy of healing every day, his attitude and his office is anything but bleak. He's got a fantastic sense of humor. And I think what strikes me about Dr. McCoy is he has one of the hardest jobs in the world. He deals with people at their deepest, darkest places. Whether it is a Halloween celebration, the triumphant last treatment, or simply the peace of mind of a carefully chosen course of care, Dr. McCoy is quick with a smile and a confident resolve. Everything appears to be in complete remission. Yep, yeah. completely. And uh, he did well. Patients and staff agree, there is no one better to walk the final steps of a difficult journey than Dr. Harry McCoy. Harry McCoy is a special soul. Uh, he knows when to be a doctor. Uh, he knows when to be a friend. So many times, patients have to make that very difficult decision along with their families, and their families are the ones who really look up to him for the, for the answers. You want to think that if the worst happened to you or your family, you would have Harry McCoy by your side. A large part of my practice and one of my interests from very early on when I became a physician was end-of-life care. It is just as important 
to help somebody die as it is to help them live when the time comes. A beloved physician, a devoted husband and father, a man committed to making final days good ones. Dr. Harry McCoy is this year's Frist Humanitarian Award winner. The choice his colleagues and patients say is spot on. You picked the right one. <laughs> you know, I really can't think of anyone who would better exemplify that award than Harry McCoy. And I think he inspires hope in a whole lot of people. So committee, you've done it right.